Hey y'all, today we got to work on my Always in the Car Reel. Uh, this one I use for fresh water. Had it for about uh, three years. Never serviced it. So let's get a look inside. I have never opened it up, uh, but we gotta service it, I think. And it's a good time to just kind of show you a video on doing it. So I know this screws off to get the handle off, so I'm gonna do that first. And I think I'm gonna start with the drag and then kind of work my way down through the reel. But it should be a pretty quick video, I think. I don't really have a schematic for it, so we're just gonna kind of play it by ear. So you'll see right there, that's how much line I have left. So that's why it's good to service the reel. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove that stuff and then put some new line on it afterwards as well. All right, so we're gonna pop this open by undoing this clip right here. I'm gonna stick our screwdriver in and up. Let's get that off. And let's see. And bear in mind, this is my reel, so I get to choose what I want to do and what I don't want to do. For me and the things that I use it for, this all looks pretty good so far. So I'm not changing anything out, but I'm going to add some oil to those, to these washers here. So we'll drop these in and just stick some oil on top of it. And remember, this is a freshwater reel, so we don't, there's not a lot of stuff that's gonna happen to this. I'm turning this over to look like that. Uh, same to get this back in, you're gonna use one of the open ends, tilt it down, find a channel it's supposed to sit in, and then kind of work the rest in with your finger. Or you can use a screwdriver or something. When you're done putting it back in, just make sure you find a groove that it's supposed to be in, and it's all the way around, which this one is. All right, so let's pop this off. Use some washers and there's a spool support and a metal washer underneath there. I'll show you that when I put it back on actually. And to get this nut off, we are going to do undo a set screw right here. And how do we take this off? It's clockwise to remove, so turn to your right to remove it. Pop that up and just leave this over here. And let's just take this stuff apart. Let's do the line roller first. So we have two bushings, one's metal, one's plastic, then we have a washer, and I roll a washer, a metal collar right there, or a washer as well, and a screw. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's clean it a little bit. some dirt that was pretty dirty I'm gonna add some piece around here on this post I don't like things getting frozen on there let's take the metal uh, bushing back on there and I've added a little piece around there as well now bear in mind, like I said before, this is a freshwater reel. It's not going to be touching the salt at all. So there's less that you need to do with it. Stick that inside. And there's no support in the middle of this thing for this washer right here. So I think what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to the top of this so I can keep that in place. Now in all the places that you see me using grease, you can certainly use oil. Uh, there's certain reasons why I do it. And what I'm trying to talk about here is there's no support, no post in the middle that supports that uh, that washer, that plastic washer. So I think it'll slide around if I don't do this. And then it won't function, uh, function properly. So I'm gonna stick that on there. Then this, and I wanna keep that centered, I think. We can just do it this way. Keep it upside down. It worked good. All right, so let's pop up this uh, bail arm and let's see what's under there. spring system with a trip arm so we'll clean that off a little bit anything else I need to do here yeah I see some dirt I'm going to stick some grease along that channel. A little bit around the pulse right there. Some inside there. And somewhere that spring's going to ride. That's probably about it. If you're doing one of these reels, the way you're going to put that bail arm back in, I'm sorry, a trip arm back in, that bend part or bent part is going facing down. So looking like this. And I'm just going to stick this spring back in. I don't want to do much to it. Just make sure it's under the trip arm, kind of like that when you set it up. I'll add a little bit of grease to the top of it where it's going to go inside the uh, that bail arm. And there's going to be a hole on top of here that you can see right there that's gonna go on top of that and then the uh, trip arm is gonna ride inside that channel right there I'm gonna keep my finger over that spring just in case it wants to go running around somewhere but that's that I'm gonna screw this in and then I'm gonna cover it up All right, let's go ahead and cover this up. And I'm not gonna open this side up. Uh, I'm just gonna add some oil right here. It's kind of like that. Maybe a little bit around the screw. Kind of work that in. And I can take this washer up, add a little bit of grease on top, I'm just going to stick it back in, alright let's open this up, let's continue to that, that uh, rotor off because there's a screw up here to open this up so, and I don't know what sizes these are so I'm going to lay these out, let's kind of see what they look like where they came from. look funky so far that screw came from the boot or from the rope guard right there and then we have one more screw in the bottom down here it looks like 
these two are the same this is a little different this is a little different so I was just kind of keep these separate all right looks pretty straightforward inside doesn't look anything crazy so let's get this done quickly I'm gonna do a screw right here so I can get that block off. There's other ways you can do it too, but this is the way we're gonna do it. I'm pull this out. I like that I see a bearing here. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it does or not, if it has one or not, but. Aha, uh -huh. we have a collar, I'm sorry, or a bushing on a collar under there. We got our block and our gear. Let's see what we have on there. These screws all look to be the same size, so. I don't think we have anything to worry about there. Yeah, they're all the same size. Then we have a cover that is supporting a bearing inside there. A clutch with a sleeve and a washer and another bearing. That's not so bad. Alright, let's clean this up really quick. Just gonna wipe that stuff off. And even though that grease kinda looked alright to me, uh, it's it hasn't been serviced in or I have never serviced it, so I'm going to change it out. I'm not going to go crazy in terms of like cleaning it. I'm just going to get rid of some of the old grease and put some new grease inside of it. Cleaning part will probably be the longest part of the video. If I, if I choose to show the whole thing. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of using a toothbrush to clean up some of that stuff off. And I'm using a paper towel to wipe some stuff down. And there's no real um, <clears throat> process that I'm following here. I'm just kind of, as I see it, I clean it, sort of thing. not to confuse yourself but then enough of these to not be that confused and if I do get confused I can kind of figure these things out I'm gonna add some grease to the pinion gear kind of do the entire thing I don't want a lot of grease on this stuff because just because it's fresh water. Uh, I have some grease inside that channel where that brain is going to sit. And while I'm here, I'm going to put some more on there as well. And some inside that hole where that shaft goes through and here where that bearing sits. All right, so put the first bearing on. Add some oil to it. leave that here because I know that goes second but I want to check this clutch and it looks like it has a little bit of stuff inside of it so all right more than a little bit quite a bit of stuff inside uh, if you're doing this the way it's gonna sit is that raised plastic piece is gonna be facing up up like that so looking like that before I forget to tell you guys that part I'm going to add some oil and when I say some oil I mean like uh, a couple drops I'm not doing a lot this clutch can go in either way I think 
it looked the same on both ends. Yeah, it's the same on both ends. So now I'm going to drop this in. Get that bearing in there. Put that cover in. Stick our sleeve on. And while I'm here, I'm going to rotate this to kind of get that oil that I put inside there kind of worked in. Now I'm going to stick the last bearing on. Add some oil to it and then cover it up. Oh, uh, looks like we have a channel here. All right, so there's some channels inside here where those that, uh, those two pieces will go inside. So make sure it fits over it. I'm going to support the pinion a little bit to try to find it. And we're good. It kind of just drops into place. Uh, when you get the right spot. All right, last thing to clean here would be this main gear, or one of the last things. And there's some washers on here that I'm gonna leave alone, or maybe just one washer. Yeah, I'm gonna kinda leave that alone, and then it's kinda Add some grease around it. Did it come off on me? No. All right, so let's add some grease. I get some on the back side too. Same for the crosswind gear. I wonder if there's a bushing inside there. I don't see any. Uh, add a little extra grease on top of that post. But remember, all these things are kind of light. A decent amount inside that channel right there. Then around the rest of the surface area, just a light coat. I think that's all we're gonna do. All right, so let's drop this bushing inside. And now we can stick our gear on there. Have that post down towards the bottom somewhere. The way this is gonna sit is looking just like that. I could add some grease along this, that ridge right there, where that's gonna ride. Now we can stick our main gear in. Put our bearing on top, add some oil to it. And then we're gonna stick that shaft through. Before I stick the shaft through, I'm gonna stick some grease on top of it. Just right there. And it looks like this can go in either way. I take that back. There's only one side that's flat. The flat side will be facing up. So I'm gonna stick it through looking like this. Then we're gonna support it with the screw. All right, let's clean this off a little bit, add some grease inside the hole where the bearing is gonna sit. And be done with this. Cover it up. I wanna feel something here. I like to feel it when I put this stuff back together. That feels fine. And our screws were, where's my bottom one? Okay, there. I still have them laid out. So I know which one goes where. Now we can put that cover on and then finish this reel up. And I get to use it again. That's the most exciting part. Sticking that on. 
going to rotate until it falls in place. Remember, this was uh, clockwise to remove, so we're going to go counterclockwise to tighten. And we're not going to over tighten this, but we are going to snug it down slightly. You want one of those flat sides facing the hole where that set screw is going to it's going to go. So somewhere around there is good. Just checking the rotation on it first before I secure this screw. <coughs> now for our this stack here, we have a metal washer that goes on. We have, a, we have the click gear. That's all keyed, so you gotta rotate it to where it drops in place. Then we have that spool washer. So let's take this on there. Let me add some oil to that the clicker. And I'm secure it with the drag knob. And for this handle, I'm just going to clean a couple pieces off of it and then add some grease or new grease to it. I'm not going to do much. Grease inside there. Definitely grease the shaft. like that and I'm gonna oil that handle the knob in a sec but I'm also gonna add some grease around the threads on this just in case so for sand it up I'm just gonna drop some grease boop, inside there like that I'm not doing it in the bottom just in the top it'll work its way down there stick it through this is key to the hex pattern, uh, pattern, excuse me. So make sure it fits inside the the shaft on the main gear. Tighten this down, and this is going to be pretty snug. And then we're going to test this out afterwards. We already tested the line roller, so I mean, that works. That works well. Hey, it sounds better. Nice. <laughs> it's been a while. The bail flip works good. And the reverse works good. Uh, we're all good. Oh, the drag. I see the drag. The drag feels smoother. Trust me, you never get a chance to really feel the drag on this to see what the limits are anyhow because the fish aren't that, that powerful. But this does feel a lot smoother now, so that's good. Alright guys, if you found the video helpful or useful, uh, please hit a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.